Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'm going to present today uh, principles and uh, clinical applications of uh, urographic techniques. Uh, this is the outline of my talk. Uh, I will start shortly with uh, intravenous urography, then uh, CT urography and MR urography uh, to know the clinical applications and uh, new developments uh, in such techniques. MRU and uh, mounted detector CT urography. As you know, this is uh, a normal intravenous uh, urography. And previously, before the uh, developments of the new uh, urographic techniques, it was uh, the uh, basic uh, uh, imaging study in uh, urogenital tract, uh, urogenital uh, or urologic uh, system. Here we can see in this uh, uh, abnormal eye view that is there is enlargement of the uh, upper uh, calicial uh, uh, group. Uh, the babili is enlarged with uh, tubular ectasia, that is to say a filling of dilated tubules with contrast bilaterally. In uh, a case of uh, uh, medullary sponge uh, kidney in comparison to, uh, to the normal uh, medulla here in the uh, normal eye view. Also, uh, before uh, CT and uh, MRI, there was uh, the application of uh, intravenous urography in the uh, nephrographic phase. This is what's called uh, nephrotomography. This lesion has a, a nephrographic density more than that of the normal parenchyma, so it usually was uh, due to vascularization, so it was suggestive of uh, neoplasm. On the other hand, when the nephrographic density is less than that of the normal nephrogram. It is with uh, less vascularized, like simple renal cyst, like this uh, case. So, but now with the CT, a case of neoplasm, we can see it in, uh, regularly enhancing here with, uh, we can assess also the, that the perinephric fat is free and also we can assess the uh, uh, vascular invasion and uh, nodal and distant metastasis with CT. Here also we can see uh, a contralateral mass, which is missed on IVU on the right kidney. Also in case of cyst, we can hear on T2 weighted MR uh, image, we can see that is uh, the cyst has a cyst within a cyst uh, uh, sign, which is uh, characteristic of hydrated cyst. So uh, the developments of these techniques allow more characterization of uh, renal lesions. Here, uh, intravenous urography of a patient was su subjected to a, a right radical nephrectomy for renal cell carcinoma. Here's the surgical clips, and uh, there is a mass effect here on the left kidney that suggests a recurrent tumor. But when we see the CT, this is a, a sagittal oblique image of CT in the corticomodullary phase. We can see this is the cortical enfolding here with the same enhancement of the cortex. And in the excretory phase, this is the same also uh, uh, um, enhancement of the renal parenchyma. Uh, 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 so it uh, suggests that this is a pseudotumor rather than a neoplasm, which is confirmed by DEMSA scan, which has an uptake here. If it is a tumor, it should be photobinic or photodeficient area in the uh, DEMSA scan. So it is a pseudotumor. It is uh, a uh, 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 hypertrophied columns of Bertin or enfolding of renal cortex. So uh, I will start with uh, one of the alternative or complementary urographic techniques to intravenous urography, which is CT urography. Here we can start by an image of intravenous urography, CT urography, and excretory MR urography to know the similarity between the three techniques at, and the difference between them. Here, the CT urography and uh, intravenous urography are similar in using X-ray. So the ionizing radiation here is X-ray in both and also the same contrast. We use uh, iodinated contrast and it, uh, they depend on uh, uh, renal function. And usually when the patient have a serum creatinine, 
below 1.8 milligram per deciliter, we can use uh, hydrated contrast in IVU and CTU. The difference in, uh, in secretory MR urography is that there is no ionizing radiation, so it is an advantage of MR urography. And the contrast used is gadolinium. It is a different contrast uh, 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 which uh, used in uh, uh, CT and, um, and IVU. And also, uh, it depends on renal uh, function, but we can use it in patient with uh, more impairment renal function than the, it is another advantage. So if the patient have a GFR more than 30 mL per minute, we can use uh, this contrast even it has uh, serum keratinine more than two or three. So I will start with the definition of CT urography because it has uh, 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 two definitions, one old and one updated techniques, clinical applications, and particularly in Bishop to Zematuria, and to uh, compare CT urography versus intravenous urography. In 2008, uh, uh, the European Society of Urogenital Radiology defined CT urography as multi-detector CT examination of the kidneys, the ureters, and the bladder with at least one series of images acquired during the executory phase after intravenous administration of iodinated contrast media. So uh, the executory phase is the must in, in, in this CT urographic technique. Uh, and we have to use multi-detector CT scanner. This is an example of CT urography. Just we have a, a scan in the excretory phase, like after five or seven minutes. So we can see here the uh, course of uh, their uh, right ureter here. And if we notice the axial images here, it is a, a delayed executory phase. However, we can identify here the aorta and the inferior vena cava. So this aorta have a retro uh, aortic course. So it is a, a case of a retro caval aorta. Without, uh, we 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 doesn't we we don't need uh, an early scan. So just to can diagnose it in this executory scan as a retrocaval ureter. This is also an example of bladder tumor on CT urography with dosed right kidney. So this is a typical filling defect for patient with hematuria, denoting that it is as a bladder mass here. If we look to uh, the other uh, 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 phases uh, in, in, in kidney scan uh, by CT. Here, this uh, shows this is the cortex of over here. This is the perinephric fat, and here is the uh, pyramid. And here is the renal sinus fat. Here is the sinus fat. And here is the excretory system. Here we can see a minor calyx, uh, uh, which start to have the uh, uh, urine uh, excreted from here, from the uh, renal babili. So uh, when we inject the contrast intravenously in CT, this is uh, a corticomedullary phase. We can differentiate the medulla, uh, which is have low density from the cortex. And this is the interpyramidal cortex, uh, which is uh, 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 the columns of uh, Bertin. And uh, here it is a, a late uh, arterial phase. The, uh, arter we can start with, with arterial phase for CT angiography. Then at the late arterial uh, uh, timing, we have the corticum dollar phase. Then uh, uh, it is he here the nephrographic phase. Uh, uh, the kidney is enhanced homogeneously. We can see this change also with contrast uh, uh, enhanced ultrasound here at the corticum dollar phase after injecting the uh, 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 ultrasound contrast intravenously and here the uh, corresponding nephrographic phase. We can see here in this nephrographic phase that if there is here is a lesion involving the renal uh, pelvis, we can see this hypoattenuated area uh, suggesting uh, infiltration of the renal parenchyma. And here also the fat is not clear around the pelvis with some extension of this uh, soft tissue strand. So it is a, a case of renal pelvis tumor with uh, uh, invasion of the renal parenchyma and the perinephric fat. 
So uh, uh, due to uh, we have to have a non-contrast CT before we injecting the contrast and doing CT urography. Here we can see some hyper density here. Uh, is it uh, subacute uh, hemorrhage? Is it uh, uh, a, cal uh, a calcification? Uh, we uh, have to make this uh, uh, objectively, not to have a subjective assessment of this hyperattenuation. Also in the nephrographic phase, is it enhancing or not? One can say this is an unenhancing area here corresponding to this, and this is enhancing area, but this is, is not the uh, optimum thinking. We have to measure it by attenuation value. Like here, this is hypo attenuating area here, measuring 24 uh, hounds field unit. Here, the enhancement is 10 units. Is it enhancing? If the lesion enhance uh, less than 10 units, it is non-enhancing lesion between 10 and 15 units called pseudo-enhancement, probably due to the partial uh, volume averaging. So uh, uh, to say that the lesion is enhancing, it should enhance more than 15 units in the uh, post-contrast phases. Uh, and uh, uh, it should, uh, uh, it should uh, have this in, uh, increase in the attenuation and the 20 unit is the cutoff uh, measurement to see that it's a definitely enhancing lesion. This is an example of the value of uh, post contrast in the delayed phase. Here's the enhancing lesion anteriorly in the anterior uh, cortex and non-enhancing renal cyst. So it is a case of renal cell carcinoma and some renal cyst. And this is another patient with this minimally enhancing lesion, but there is enhancement of the uh, uh, periphery of the lesion. So there is marginal enhancement with thickening of the renal fascia. So this is a case of uh, renal abscess. So we have a different enhancing characteristic for renal cell carcinoma, renal cyst, and renal abscess. So uh, nowadays, due to this improvement in the uh, post-contrast phases, uh, uh, and in response to subsequent rapid advances in CT technology, a broader definition is proposed, giving greater emphasis to the whole spectrum of contrast enhanced phases. So CT urography currently is defined as contrast enhanced CT examination of the kidneys, ureters, and the bladder. And uh, uh, sure, this uh, contrast enhanced study should uh, uh, include a delayed or an excretory uh, phase image. An example of the importance of the early phase, this is an axial CT image in the excretory phase. And this is a coronal uh, uh, reformatted image. We can see here a lesion here, this displacing uh, the uh, uh, pelvis inferiorly and well defined with some lobulation here. So it is probably a parapelvic cyst from this excretory phase image. But when we look to the early enhancement, it enhanced similar to the enhancement of the word. So it is a large, <clears throat> it is a large uh, uh, renal uh, arteriovenous uh, uh, malformation with a large feeding artery and large uh, 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 draining veins, uh, giving uh, early enhancement of the vena cava with some calcification in this uh, 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 dilated part. Also, when we have uh, this nephrographic phase uh, image, we can see bilateral uh, multiple cysts adjacent to each other here. It is uh, similar to uh, bilateral hydronephrosis, but the cystic structure is non-communicating. So we have to have uh, an excretory phase image to differentiate. This is uh, obstruction from renal sinus cyst. When we see the excretory phase, we can see here that this lesion is just have a mass effect on a normal intravenous, uh, in, in the normal pelvic calicial system bilaterally, and also in the axial image. This is a normal calyces here. So it is a bilateral uh, uh, renal sinus cyst uh, due to uh, uh, lymphangiectasia, or this uh, cystic uh, very pelvic, very pelvic cyst are lymphatic in origin. A case of uh, uh, left belvioretral uh, junction obstruction on CT urography. The same findings can be seen on IVU. So 
the city should uh, add, uh, uh, there is added value of CT uh, over IVU. When we look here to the early phase, we can see to assess if there is a crossing vessel at the uh, BUG uh, here, we can see a crossing vein at the Bellevue retral junction. So uh, this affects the management because if there is a crossing vessel at the Bellevue retral junction obstruction, it, uh, uh, the patient should, should be managed by open uh, bioblasty rather than endoscopic bioblasty if there is no uh, crossing vessel. There is uh, no specific uh, preparation for the patient, so no positive contrast media for bowel marking, just we give uh, water for the patient. And the standard technique should include an enhanced uh, scan, nephrographic and excretory phases for optimized diagnosis of stones, renal masses, and urocelial tumors. An example of uh, 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 CT urography, uh, here is an enhanced uh, CT in a patient with hematuria. We can see an irregular density of tissue uh, lesion here with sub uh, uh, area of uh, hypoattenuation as the region of the renal pelvis. After contrast, it enhances with uh, areas suggesting cystic degeneration. It's, uh, this is an infographic phase, and at the delayed phase, it shows erosion and irregularity of the related pelvis and uh, uh, upper calicial infundibul infundibulum. So it is a case of a pelvic calicial tumor uh, with the typical phases of uh, CT urography. So uh, these are the indications of CT urography. The uh, main indication is patient to the maturia and with high suspicious of uh, transitional cell carcinoma. And there is uh, another indication like chronic uh, urolysis and evaluation of hydronephrosis and renal trauma. Uh, so uh, uh, the reason behind using CT urography as an imaging modality of choice for investigating hematuria is based on uh, uh, results showing its high diagnostic accuracy for uh, upper urinary tract cancer and also bladder cancer. An example of patients, it's a 52-year-old man was presented with hematuria. This is a coronal non-contrast scan. We can see here, uh, uh, here is the uh, left hydroureter nephrosis with some hyperattenuation at the pelvic part of the left ureter. This uh, area is show enhancement after contrast administration. And also, as I said, we have to measure this enhancement. It's more than 25 units increase. And here in the uh, uh, normal nephrogram, and here is a simple renal cyst, and the lesion here enhancing uh, evident uh, uh, enhancement with here uh, uh, wash out of this enhancement at the delayed excretory phase with delayed excretion on the left side. And uh, after that, we can see here after opacification of the ureter that this is a, appear as a filling defect of the opacified ureter. So it is a case of uh, ureteric tumor. So it is a, a urocelial uh, uh, carcinoma of the pelvic part of the left ureter. And the distal part of the ureter is, is, is here also is, can be uh, visualized. A patient who is a typical uh, pelvic aliceal, uh, tumor on IVU uh, uh, intravenous urography. And uh, here also the filling defect of the mass is seen on CT urography. So uh, uh, we can use uh, uh, an early phase to uh, see uh, any uh, uh, added information here the, uh, uh, as we use the same injected contrast. So we just scan the patient in an early phase, either in the uh, uh, arterial phase or the nephrographic phase. Here, uh, 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 double uh, renal arteries and uh, retro uh, aortic renal vein is seen on uh, early phase image, so this information can be useful for the uh, surgeon. Also, this is almost uh, non-secreting uh, uh, left kidney, or there is minimal contrast to basification here on IVU in patient with hematuria. On uh, 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 CT, this is the early phase. We see just enhancing lesion here, and at the excretory phase, this is a soft tissue mass here and large mass filling almost all of the left renal pelvis. 
and this is a right renal pelvic tumor laterally. Uh, so this is bilateral uh, uh, urethelial tumor here on coronal image. This is a large uh, mass and here a smaller one. So this bilateral urethelial carcinoma was treated by bilateral nephroeurythrectomy, uh, 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 cystectomy, and urethrectomy after creating our arteriovenous fistula for dialysis. So it is unstable urethelium, so we have to remove all uh, the urethelium. This is a study comparing the uh, uh, sensitivity and the specificity of CT urography versus intravenous urography and the retrograde biography in patient with upper urethelial uh, tumor with hematuria. So uh, CT uh, sensitivity is uh, cons uh, is uh, uh, is uh, significantly higher for CT than uh, IVU. So uh, CT uh, is um, have replaced uh, uh, IVU in this uh, uh, in this patients. And when we compare CT urography to retrograde biography, uh, there is a comparable uh, result. There is no statistically significant difference between uh, CT and uh, retrograde biography, which is an invasive technique. So uh, the conclusion is that we have to restrict retrograde biography to non-diagnostic CT urography examination and in patient with impaired renal function in whom we cannot inject contrast, uh, donated contrast. This is another example of urocelial tumor, which appear as a mural lesion in the left ureter. He's enhancing lesion and enhancing lesion at the course of the lumbar part of the right ureter. When we see the delayed image, we can see the uh, lumen of the ureter here and the uh, mass appears as, as if it is surround the ureter here. But the final histopathology was urocelial carcinoma, so this could be a pattern of the uh, uh, transitional cell carcinoma. Also, another patient with hydroureteronephrosis due to this soft tissue lesion, this is a ureteric uh, tumor on the uh, right ureter. For detection of bladder cancer, uh, the flexible cystoscopy is the gold standard for diagnosing and confirming suspected bladder carcinoma. There is uh, some in uh, uh, research to use a CT urography uh, in, uh, as a primary tool to diagnose uh, uh, bladder cancer in patient with high risk or high risk group. The definition of high risk group is a patient with macro hematuria and uh, uh, the age of these patients are over 40 years. Macro hematuria means that gross, gross hematuria, not microscopic hematuria because in these patients, there is high prevalence of tumors around 25%, and the sensitivity and specificity of CT urography is comparable to, uh, uh, to the cystoscopy. So uh, is, there is a suggestion, we can use this uh, uh, CT urography in this uh, high risk group before cystoscopy. An example of bladder tumor on CT urography, an enhancing lesion here, and enhancing lesion at the site of the left urethral uh, vesical junction on the delayed scans, filling the soft tissue filling defects. And this is uh, on the uh, coronal CTU. Here, the uh, filling defect of the tumor is uh, seen. And uh, uh, in patient with uh, uh, bladder tumor, what is the relation between bladder carcinoma and upper tract transitional cell carcinoma? The, when the patient is uh, uh, presented first with upper tract lesion, up to 50% uh, will develop metachronous tumor in the urinary bladder. While in patient with urinary bladder transitional cell carcinoma, only 5% will develop metachronous tumor in the upper tract. So in patient presented with upper tract lesion, there should be a strict follow-up. Uh, more than patient presented first with bladder carcinoma. An example of uh, upper tract carcinoma here on non contrast CT, some hyper uh, uh, density in the superior part of the renal pelvis, enhancing after contrast in the nephrographic phase, and show a soft tissue filling effect with possible one uh, lesion also in the ureter. So it is. Can uh, in this magnified magnified view here it is, should uh, uh, ensure that this is a multi-centric uh, uh, bladder tumor. 
with uh, also we have to assess here the bladder to show if there is a, a tumor or not in this uh, upper tract carcinoma. An example of both uh, uh, involvement of upper and lower tract here uh, enhancing the tumor in the renal pelvis with hydronephrosis in the early phase. Also, there is some uh, enhancement here in the uh, uh, course of the lumbar ureter here some enhancement of the dilated upper ureter and some enhancement at the lower end of the uh, uh, ureter at the insertion of the bladder. So here we can see the enhancing tumor in the ureter here and the enhancing tumor in the bladder. And on the delayed image, no uh, excretion of contrast by the kidney and uh, filling defect in, in the bladder due to the uh, uh, tumor. Also in uh, uh, hydronephrosis uh, due to calcular obstruction, uh, uh, CTOgraphy can be used to assess this is a lower calicial stones and also there is a, a lower end ureteric stones on uh, using uh, different uh, uh, reformatted images who can assess if the stones are obstructing the ureter or it is a secondary stone, uh, stones uh, 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 distal uh, or proximal to a ureteric structure. structure. Here are a case of uh, stone here obstructing the uh, uh, left pelvic uh, 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 system and ureter. So this is uh, the stone is seeing here obstructing. And in some cases there is non-calcular ureteric obstruction. We can see uh, also on CT urography a large mass in the pelvis displacing the bladder and obstructing both ureters. In uh, a narrow window we can see some calcification in this uh, uh, case of uh, uh, sarcoma. For uh, renal infection, we can see also a renal abscess here as a, a mass lesion with uh, 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 air liquids inside the, the mass. And also in different uh, urographic uh, views, we can see the mass extending uh, in the very uh, nephric space here with the thickening of the renal uh, fascia. Also, uh, when we look to the non-contrast phase of CT urography, if we have such calcification of the whole kidney with upper uh, ureteric calcification, it's typical for, uh, for renal and ureteric tuberculosis. In uh, another patient with multiple filling defects of the ureter, we can see on the axial image that some of these uh, filling defects are at the anterior wall and we have to see the uh, pre-contrast scan because some are uh, uh, hyperdense like calcification. Uh, in the pre-contrast scan, these are calcification and some calcification are the anterior, uh, at the anterior wall. So it is not uh, stone, not uh, dependent stone. So it is a case of uh, multiple uh, urethritis cyst with calcification. What is called the urethritis cystica calcinosis. So uh, there's, uh, uh, there's uh, methods uh, to reduce radiation exposure because in CT urography we have at least uh, three phases, one uh, pre-contrast and one after contrast, either in the uh, arterial or the nephrographic phase and one delayed uh, phase. So it is a lot of, uh, of exposure. To reduce radiation exposure, we have to use a low dose technique in the pre-contrast scan. And after contrast administration, we have to use either a split bolus technique or a triple bolus technique. In a split bolus technique, we inject uh, the contrast media in two parts. After the first part, we, uh, we uh, wait four minutes to uh, make this contrast or pacify the pelvic cell system. And after the injection of the second contrast, we have scan the, the patient in the nephrographic phase, so we can combine here nephrographic and excretory phases in one scan. In stable bolus technique, we uh, divide the contrast into three parts. We inject the first part and wait minutes to, for ossification of the pelvic cell system, then inject the second bolus and wait seconds to have a, a, a nephrographic phase image and we inject the third bolus and uh, uh, scan immediately after injection of the third bolus to have uh, uh, the arteries. So this uh, triple bolus used when we have to have uh, arterial phase also. So we combine arterial nephrographic and excretory phases in one scan. This is an example of the triple bolus technique. Here we can see 
the vessels, the artery and the vein opacified and the pelvic cell system opacified and also the parenchyma in this axial oblique scan. And in this coronal oblique, we can see the all structures seen in one scan. This is uh, 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 triple uh, uh, renal uh, arteries and uh, pelvic cell system opacified and the nephrogram as well. For the left kidney also, we can see the uh, prehilar division of a single uh, left renal artery with opacified renal vein and the bivid uh, renal pelvis and the uh, uh, nephrogram also opacified. So uh, this is uh, all uh, the required uh, uh, data for, for, for in one image. So in conclusion, CT urography is evolving and is a promising diagnostic examination that allows comprehensive evaluation of the urinary tract because of its depiction of both renal vasculature, parenchyma, and urocelium CT urography can demonstrate a wide spectrum of diseases with a single study. In patient with hematuria, CT urography is the imaging modality of choice. Thank you. I'm looking for uh, any questions or comments. Sorry, Shaman, to have Michael. Thank you very much, our professor, Dr. Tariq Daesti. Uh, uh, regarding uh, non-contrast uh, CTU for uh, renal stones or uh, 